please support my channel by clicking on this red subscribe button right below the video. Once you get subscribed to my channel, do not forget to click on this bell icon right next to it in order to get notifications about my latest videos. And last but not least, if you like this video, please click on this like button in order to show me your love. Hey guys, Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows operating system using your network connection. PXE basically stands for booting your computer from a network device and installing Windows operating system or any operating system on your computer. So it's like how you install Windows using a Windows DVD or else a Windows flash drive. The same way you install operating system on your computer using a network computer or else a server, a PXC server. So there will be an image file on a network device or else on a network computer. You will be booting from the network computer and installing that image file on your computer. So guys, that's it. Without wasting any further ado, let's get start with the video. Now the first thing is to download contents for this particular process. Uh, there's not much, you just have to download one software and that is it. So I'm going to be giving the link for that particular software in the description. Well after downloading the software you're going to have to bring all of the contents on the desktop just to make things simple. So I bought this uh, uh, you know, ISO file for Windows and uh, this is the folder in which I have uh, you know placed the software which is required for us to get this thing done. So first off we'll have to go to computer management and we'll have to shrink a partition. Uh, we'll have to make a separate partition not that big it's just gonna be like 15 GB partition. So first I'll right click on this PC and I'll click on manage. Once the computer management window opens I'll, I'll click on disk management and I'll come on uh, the disk which I want to shrink the partition from so I will select this one and I'll just right click on this and I'll click on shrink volume so once you click on shrink volume it will give you uh, the box which will ask you to allocate the partition or take out the partition which you want to you know make a new partition for so it's giving me the numbers which I can put in order to shrink the volume from it I am going to cancel this because I have already made a partition as you guys can see I have taken out 11 GB from this partition which is my C drive so this is unallocated so I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on new simple volume I'll go next I'll click next um, I'll just keep it um, I'll just keep, keep the name for this partition as E um, I'll click next um, I'm going to give it volume label name, it's going to be uh, network boot, network boot partition and I'm, click, I'm going to click next, I'll click finish and that is it, my new partition is uh, created, I'm going to close this window now, I'll go to this PC and I'll see this partition as an empty partition. So I will first off place my ISO file here in this partition and I'll wait till the time it gets transferred to this partition. So I'm going to have to skip this so I'll just pause the video and I'll you know I'll be back once this transfer gets completed. Now once the transfer completes you're going to have to rename the image file because the software which we will be using to make this partition bootable will not take this name so I'm okay let me just click now okay so yeah I'm gonna have to rename this uh, image file so it's gonna be uh, okay I'm gonna keep it as it is just that I'm gonna have to it's just that we'll have to uh, give the underscore sign and that is it so I'll just keep it as it is and check if this thing works. So after we are done renaming the image file, we'll close this box and we'll go to the software which we downloaded. We'll right click on it and click on run as an administrator. And this box will open. You guys can, if you guys want, you guys can also change the language by clicking on this. I'm going to keep it English. So first off, we'll have to check mark this box which says use hard disk drive. and. Uh, 
this thing will be highlighted so I'm gonna click on this drop down I'm gonna select the partition which we want to use so this is the partition which says 11.23 GB I'm gonna click here select this partition and I'll click on OK so guys make sure these two boxes are checked do not check mark this box and click on OK now we'll have to wait guys so this thing actually gave me an issue so for the first time if it doesn't work so you're gonna have to redo this once again uh, second time it probably works so just wait till the time it completes 100% anytime from now perfect now once that thing gets completed you will get this box which will have different options on top so first off you can have to go to integration and you'll have to click on this drop down and click on the operating system which you want to work on so we are using Windows operating system so we'll be clicking on Windows and we'll have to click on the second drop down which just got highlighted and I'm gonna have to select Windows 7 8.1 or 10 now this is giving me the other option to select the ISO image file or else ISO file I'm gonna click on these three dots I'm gonna click on these three dots right here and I'm gonna click on this image file which we renamed and as you guys can see we already have got two um, you know two folders which is created you know that's because the first time when we run the software it created these two folders I think this is probably the uh, bootloaders um, I'm gonna have to click on the image file and click on open it and as you guys can see it's not taking that name so I'll have to click on OK I'll have to go to that folder mm, where is it? this one I'm gonna have to rename this file again so let me just go for Windows underscore 10 underscore 64 bit let's see if this thing works I'll click on this three dots again click on Windows underscore 10 64 bit click on OK and it took that name so minimize this folder and I'll click on OK and again it's asking for me to it's asking me to give the boot menu name so I'll keep it Windows 10 Windows 10 never boot and I'll click on OK and it will start the uh, uh, installation process so this is installing the bootloaders and the other other files which will help us to boot from the network so uh, anytime from now it's doing its stuff so in the meanwhile what I can do is I can go again uh, to this computer or this PC I'll have to right click on the partition which we are using I'll click on properties and I'll make sure uh, I'll uh, you know do this stuff in the sharing so you're gonna have to come to the sharing uh, thing like sharing tab and you'll have to click on advanced sharing once you are here you're gonna have to click on this box which says you're gonna have to click on this box which says share this folder check mark this box and go for permissions once you're in this permission you highlight this everyone and you'll have to check mark these three boxes right here and click on apply and you'll have to click on OK and again you'll have to click on apply and again you'll have to click on OK do make a note of this network path uh, on the notepad so I'm gonna click a photo of this network path so that I can use it later uh, just one minute now once you have taken the note of this network path we're gonna have to close this and uh, I'll just minimize this here it says done happy booting that means the process has been completed I'm gonna click on OK now that's it guys we are done with our setup now this partition is ready and we will be able to never boot from this partition using the address we just made a note of now after I close this page I'll have to do the last thing which is going to a network sharing center now I'm gonna have to right click on this network icon right here I'll have to click on open network and inner settings once we are in the network and inner settings now we'll have to click on the second one which says sharing options from here we'll have to make sure all these are ticked so here turn on network discovery first box will be first radio button should be ticked this first radio button should be ticked now here all networks 
will have to click on this drop down and please do make sure we have turned on this thing which says turn on uh, sharing so anyone with network access uh, can read and write in the public folder please do make sure this box is uh, this radio button is ticked and that is it leave everything as it is and click on save changes now, I'm not getting this option because I've already made this settings before I'm gonna close this box I'm gonna close this page again now that's it guys we are done making a network bootable partition in our computer as you guys can see this is the partition which is uh, ready to boot from network and you know once you're that once you guys are done you guys will also see this small icon which has the uh, you know which has the small icon which indicates that this is the shared partition and this is the partition which will uh, you know which will be bootable from the network now I'm gonna again double click on this partition and I will click on this AIO creator and I will click on this option the second one which says run PXC now once this software starts you will get this uh, message here which says started now that is it guys we just have to keep this thing turned on and we'll have to uh, go to the computer on which we want to install Windows from network and we'll have to turn on the computer and try booting that computer from the network so I'm gonna change the camera uh, this is my computer's desktop on which I have turned on the uh, you know a virtual server to install Windows on the other computer so I'm gonna keep this thing like this um, now I'll switch the camera and I will boot my other computer from the network and see if I am able to boot from uh, this partition from the network so yeah switching the camera now now this is a tiny PXC server which is running at the background I'm not gonna turn off my primary com primary computer because uh, this is the one which will be acting as a server to boot our other computer from now I'm gonna switch the HDMI cable to the other computer and check if I'm able to boot from network okay now I'm gonna turn on the other computer Okay, now I'm gonna turn on the other computer. I'll keep on tapping the delete button because I'm gonna have to go to the BIOS settings first. So I'll first go to BIOS features and I will go at the bottom. I'll keep here other OS. I'll go here to boot mode selection and I'll make sure I have UEFI and legacy marked. Here I'm gonna keep UEFI only these thing will not change I'll go to uh, the very first option which says boot option number one and I'll make sure I select a Realtek PXE B03 D00 I'll press enter uh, rest of all things will be as this I'll go to power I'll go to last option which says save and exit and I will go to Realtek PXC and I'll press enter now as you guys can see it's booting from uh, the network perfect now I'm gonna have to make sure I select these option right so it gives me disk utility it gives me backup and recovery these are the options which we will not be using since we want to install Windows. So uh, I'm going to go for the first option which says Win PE and Setup. It says here Windows 10 Network Boot as we've uh, named our network uh, partition. So this is the name which we gave to our ISO image file later. Not the first one, the second thing, the box which came and which was asking us to name this network thingy so yeah I'm gonna have to press enter and it will start booting from the uh, partition which we created now we're gonna have to wait and I will open the network path uh, the image file for network address or network path let's zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see things more clearly okay I was booting from network now it's asking us for a network path. I'm going to give the network path to it. So I'll open the image which I clicked. As you can see, right there, right here. Okay, I'm gonna give this path. 
to uh, I'm gonna write this path in this box and backslash e. Okay, now let's press enter. Okay, now it's asking me to enter the username for uh, my primary computer, the computer on which we have made a partition. So gonna be Adam's uh, tech guide. I'll press enter. Okay, now it's asking me to uh, enter the password for my primary computer. So let me just give the password. Um, press enter. As you guys can see, it gave me the Windows setup uh, uh, utility or Windows setup screen. So I'll click on next. I'll click on uh, install now. So I'm going to click on this box and let's go ahead and check if I am able to see the partitions. As you guys can see, these are the partitions in my second computer on which I want to install Windows. Once this thing gets formatted, I will check installing Windows and the speed of it. So let's go next and wait till the time. So this is the this is the part where you guys can actually monitor the speed of the uh, you know the speed of the installation in my case it's working a little bit slow because um, I don't think so I that the quality of uh, you know cable and the router which I'm using is uh, that good but they are okay to you know get my work done so that's it guys uh, that is it for today thanks a lot for watching this video so guys, that's it. Thanks a lot for joining me in this video. If you guys have any questions to ask, you guys can feel free to write down your questions in the comments box. If you guys are new to my channel, Adam's Tech Guy, please do not forget to click on the red subscribe button, which is right below this video. Also, do not forget to click on the bell icon right next to it in order to get the notifications about my future videos. Thanks a lot, guys, for making this happen. Thanks a lot for supporting me. I really appreciate all of you guys, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.